hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima so this is the part three of the series how i got a distinction in my professional mbbs exam so please if you've not seen the part one to two come and see it this is the part three and the last part of that series the next part is going to be the question and answer series so please don't forget to drop down your questions in the comments box that i will address in the question and answer series with that said let us get on with the video there's some point that i feel that i'm mentally drained like i feel like as if i can't do this anymore it's okay to feel that way trust me <laughs> hey you don't know <laughs> it's okay to feel that way for me whenever i feel that way i just shut it up completely i close my books go off social media or if it's social media that i i that would help me i go to social media you know browse i shut off even though i have classes the most important class that day i will not go I will lock my door, stay in my room, I won't attend to any call, switch off my phone completely because I feel drained. Your mental health is important. Even the week, that, the, the month I was preparing for my professional exam, that is when I started YouTube. It, I know it sounds crazy that ah, you're, you're, preparing, you're preparing for professional exam, you're supposed, you're supposed to put 24 hours. No, no, no. I better know they work that way. I don't know about you if your brain works that way. For me, I get tired easily. So I make sure I put in, you know, breaks. I make sure I carve out time to do something else. So if it works for you, like YouTube, what am I saying? Like medical school is the only thing that you're doing and it's working for you. By all means, I won't say anything. Continue with it. Keep it up. Kudos to you. But for someone like me, I get bored easily. I can't study for long hours. Not this thing that people will say they'll sit down for 24 hours and study at a stretch. Me, myself, and I, I cannot do it. I don't study that way. I, there are some days that I would open my book to study for 10 minutes and I'm tired already and I'm like wow okay great 10 minutes so and I'm tired already like it's not a do or die affair in, in, on days like that I will just close the book maybe do something else for like five minutes and then come back do another 10 minutes study go out again and there are also some days where I study for an hour two hours at a stretch without getting tired so I don't I think I never ever gave myself this stringent timetable that i must keep up to i never did that even though i keep up to a timetable like I, I would try and see if i can get a screenshot of that my study timetable and put it on the on the screen for you guys like even though i had a stringent timetable like that i left out like two or three days without attaching any particular course to that day because i know that there are some days where i don't feel like studying at all so i shift whatever i'm supposed to study for that day in to whatever spare day i had and another thing i made sure i did was my saturdays and sundays nothing studying i use my saturdays and sundays for my mental health and for my personal self and for my family and for my friends and everything outside medical school that's what i did i just make sure i don't overwork myself to the point that i break down many people were falling sick before we started our professional exam for me i didn't fall sick because i know myself it was at the end of my professional exam towards five if you don't watch that video that vlog series please go and see it i'll leave the link up here just at that end um, my anatomy viva that was when i now fell sick so just know yourself know what works for you don't follow i used to see some of my classmates to walk around with big textbooks ask me how many textbooks i read in my time oh my no fit count though i don't even fit tell you one where i talk say okay okay yes, apart from my histology textbook that I know I studied very well. There was no other textbook that I was diligently studying. I'm not a textbook um, type. I get bored easily. I rather Google whatever information I want and get it immediately or watch several YouTube videos than or download so many slides from SlideShare than to sit down and say I'm reading Kate Moore or I'm reading Cherusia or I'm reading this. Half ass. No, oh, I never did that too. <laughs> anyway, that's why my MCQ and my OBJ scores were terrible. <laughs> So if you want to have good MCK and OBJ scores, don't be like me. You should, you should be able to study textbooks. <laughs> there are just so many things that came into play during my preclinical. Another thing was how I answer my questions. And I've, I've uploaded a video on how to answer anatomy questions, physiology questions, biochemistry questions. If you've not seen that video, like I always say, go and see it. I'll put the link up. I know how I answer my questions that even the tiny thing I know, eh, I will answer it in such a way that I will be able to grab at least if it's that bad 60 percent of the whatever score mark is attached to that question so it's one thing to have this knowledge and another thing to know how to present this this your answers to your examiner 
it's you need to understand the question and know what the question is requiring of you very very important in summary i would say just know yourself don't follow anybody even all these things i've listed here and mentioned here now if that is not what is going to work for you know yourself and know what works for you i have just shared what me i did and what works for me i'm not a library type you never see me carry book to say i'm going to library to go and read the way you see me studying i'll be walking about i'll be in my toilet i'll be cooking i'll be chatting or even just with friends my phone they my hand at the look oh, at this that's how i study i study I, I i don't like if i find myself in a situation where i have to sit down in a controlled environment to study i will lose interest in fact i will even sleep off <laughs> i will sleep off but how i study i can be lying on my bed and i'm studying i can be sitting on the floor i can be studying back. i can be doing anything at all and be studying with my phone in my hand you think i'm pressing phone you know no say babes they move stuff <laughs> So that's me so, but for you if you're the library type by all means do your study in the library don't follow anybody don't copy anybody and go and copy what is not going to work for you except you're experimenting and trying out things your 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 first in course your second in course in fact first and second in course most especially those are the days those are the times those are the months that you should try out so that you know what works for you by your third in course you should have a study schedule that works for you. you should know what works for you by that time so when you now come into writing your your pre mb or your mock mb or your main mb you should by that time be 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 sure of and be confident of whatever it is you're doing that works for you i was trying to edit this video and i discovered that i left out two very important tips so the first one is that i that i never followed people like i did what i knew worked for me you know there were some so many people that um group discussions worked for them but i knew on time that group discussions do not work for me so i did not follow people i did not say well, because the whole class is doing group discussion me let me follow them i never did it even textbook reading i many of my classmates used to study with huge textbooks and different kind of textbooks i tried it and i discovered it didn't work for me and i did not do it so i wasn't like under pressure to do what other people were doing i just knew myself so it's important that you know yourself you know what works for you and you do what works for you another thing is attending classes some people in my class they never you never see them in classes but yet they do very well but i did not follow them i knew that i need to be in class to be able to understand whatever i'm learning and because of that i didn't follow them to sit at home while lectures were going on in class so i attended my classes then reading and write writing i cannot carry one jota I can't carry one book now, one jotter, one thing or the other to show you and say this is what I used to write on anytime I'm studying. There are many people who used to study and write and it worked for them. I tried it and I discovered it slowed me down drastically. I never did it. So just do what works for you. Some people when they are trying to learn a diagram, they take a book or a pen and paper and try to draw it several times on the paper to be able to learn it. But I never did that. The first time I ever drew any diagram that I have ever known throughout my preclinical is an, is an example. So I never followed people. I just knew what worked for me and did what worked for me. And the second tip I'm going to tell you guys about is that cramming. I never crammed. I tried to learn the concept. I tried to understand the concept. So I never did all those cramming. Mnemonics worked for me and I did mnemonics. So I never crammed because one thing about cramming is that when you finish cramming and you write you finish writing the next day is out of your brain completely so so i didn't want to be a party to all this cramming stuff i just made sure i understood whatever it was that i wanted to read so um i think i'm, I'm i've exhausted everything i've written down if there's any other point at all that i have not mentioned in this video that i may have forgotten to write down or something when i'm editing this video i will certainly add that so guys i have loved shooting this video um remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so like this video remember to share this video with your friends it's going to certainly help them you know when you learn from other people's experience that is one thing that would work for you that is one thing that works for me i learned from people's experiences i interviewed so so many people so i remain your girl jemima see you bye